everybody welcome to world card making day i hope you're enjoying everything you've seen so far by queen and company i'm demo donna and i get the pleasure of showing you guys the brand new do, 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 embossing folder bundle so i'm going to take you on a little embossing folder journey and show you some quick tips and techniques as well as all of the beautiful designs. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I look forward to reading all of your comments. Here we go. All right, you guys, here are all 12 of the embossing folders. Now I'm also gonna go ahead and give you a close up of each of the actual embossing folder design. And these were just done on white cardstock. So there is the first one, which is a beautiful floral toss background. Here are some lovely patterned hearts. Really beautiful leaf background. A really fun random polka dot. Some vertical, not vertical, diagonal stripes. <laughs> Some diagonal stripes. This beautiful, very elegant design. And then this bottom six here, you've got your lovely stars. This will make a fantastic flag when you put these two together. So you've got your stars, you've got your stripes, which could be horizontal or vertical. A nice solid stripe design. You also have this beautiful, this can be confetti, this can be sprinkles. This has so many great, great options. Beautiful floral design, also another very elegant looking floral background. And then a double stripe, which is different from the other diagonal stripe. This one is a double stripe pattern which is really nice. And then last but not least, we have this very simple, yet very nice. I see like wedding invitations or baby shower cards, really pretty. And this is just a nice pattern dot background. So there are all 12 of your embossing folders. So I'm basically going to show you now how simple it is to use your embossing folders. So most importantly, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have read your machine's manual and your machine can actually take embossing folders. Now most machines can, you just need to be able to make sure you know how to use your embossing folder with your specific die cutting machine. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and take my die cut machine. And now with this particular machine, there are, when I do regular die cuts, I use all four of these plates. Now seeing in the description here, this is my cutting plate. So in order to use embossing folders, I need to remove the cutting plate. So now I just have these three plates. Now what I've noticed, and our embossing folders are five and a half by five and a half. So I know during the live, a lot of you noticed that these were bigger than most embossing folders. And I do like that as well. That gives you a little bit more room to play. It's also great for some square cards. When you are using your embossing folder, I have found that it is easier to use it as a book. So open from side to side versus top to bottom. Now, the reason I'm saying using it as a book fold is running it through your die cut machine like a book. So I've basically got my bent corner on one of the edges. So either on the left or the right edge. And now my embossing folder opens side to side like a book, just like this. Now I'm gonna place, this is just a plain piece of white cardstock, and this is actually a heavier one. I think this is 110 pounds. 
and just to show you that you can use a thicker embossing powder, I mean a thicker <laughs> embossing folder with your thicker cardstock. Okay, so now that I've got that through, I'm gonna take my crank and I'm gonna apply a little bit of pressure and run my embossing folder right through, just like that. So you can see there's a little bit more pressure involved than when you're using just a regular die in your die cut machine. And now I'm just gonna open this right up. And now I have this beautiful embossed cardstock, which would be a great base for any of my cards. So that is the very simple 101 on how to use your embossing folder. I do wanna show you just so you guys know what I'm talking about. So if you're having some struggles, you know why. So if you start with the fold end on the top, it makes it very difficult to shove all of these plates through. It really does, you really have to work and push a lot harder to get it in. It will go through as you can see here, but it's a lot more pressure and a bit more of a struggle. Ooh. But like I said, you still do get a beautiful embossed piece of cardstock. Just keeping that book formation in the back of your pocket as a little trick on how to run it through really does help. Okay, so a couple other things to note about your embossing folder is like I mentioned, the book part. Now this is a straight line, and especially when you have something that you wanna make sure, where are my cute little hearts? Here we go. So these hearts are very symmetrical. So instead of coming in and just trying to even up my piece of paper, what you can do is you could take your paper all the way to the top of the fold and then trim it when you are done running it through your die cut machine. Now you can see it's even on both sides. I've got the same size a little bit on this side and then on that side. So using that little top portion and then all you need to do is trim that off. So that is another trick on making sure your card is even. Now, if you're using a thicker cardstock, or you tend to notice that your paper is cracking, this cardstock seems to be working out just fine. But another really great trick is, so for instance, some of my circles here, you can see some like bunching up, a little bit of wrinkling happening to my paper. So I'm gonna go find that embossing folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my awesome little spritzer and a piece of cardstock, and I am just going to spritz my paper. Now, this does cause your paper to curl a little bit when it's dry, so just make sure you're using your red liner tape or a nice strong tape to adhere your paper down to your card base. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that in my embossing folder, run that through, and let's see if that gets rid of those little wrinkles. So you can see one without a little spritz and one with little spritz. So this had no water applied. So you can see there's just a couple little wrinkles on the circles and this one is very crisp. So really cool to see the difference. And if you're running into troubles with your paper cracking or actually cutting in half when you run it through your die cut machine, just go back and add a little spritz of water. And now here is with the water 
and without. So as you can see, there is a difference between this one here, which was spritzed with the water, is a little crisper than the one just run through dry. So there is another test run on with or without a little bit of spritz. Now the next little trick I wanna show you is when you're using your die cuts as well as your embossing folder, what you're gonna to wanna to do is first pre-cut out your actual die. So I first ran this through my die cut machine and this is from foundation die number 10. And then I'm gonna choose my embossing folder, open it up like a book so I don't forget. And then I'm gonna close that up, put it in sideways, and I'm gonna run this through just like that. Again, much easier. I can do it with one hand on the crank, one hand holding it in position. And pull that right out. And now I've got a beautiful pattern paper from one of my paper pad kit, paper pad kits, paper pads. And this is Happy Harvest. And it's that beautiful decorative paper as well as the really nice embossing folder technique. So just so you guys can see the difference in applying it to your plain cardstock as well as your beautiful papers. Now, another really fun thing that you can do, especially, here we go, we'll use this one. When you run out of your foam refills, this is a great way to take your actual shakers. So here I have my little gnome hat, and I have the outline die and the decorative die. And I'm just gonna place those two together and place them right inside my folder. I'm gonna even add a couple little leaves. And these are from the brand new fall foundation set. And now remember, I've got my fold end on the side. Take that, take my top plate and run that through just like that. And now you have, ooh, very exciting. I'm gonna take my little awesome little pen here, pop that up. So look at that beautiful leaf, just gorgeous. So I've got my leaf. Another leaf here. So pretty. You've got the decorative look from the pattern paper as well as the beautiful embossed paper. And then now I also have a really fun replacement for my shaker. So like I said, instead of when you've run out of shakers or if you're doing a shaker card with some non-shakers, this is a really great way to do it. So now I'm gonna set these aside and I'm gonna show you guys another really fun and simple technique using your embossing folders. So we are gonna scooch away our die cut machine. So I am gonna take that really cute little die that we ran through. And I'm gonna take a piece of scrap paper and I'm gonna grab an embossing ink and I am just gonna lightly tap right on top. So I'm just lightly tapping an embossing ink right on top of my embossing folder. My embossing folder piece of paper that we already ran through. Now I'm gonna take one of my adorable little spoons from the new accessory kit. I'm gonna sprinkle some of that. This is a gold embossing powder. 
available at most craft stores. I'm going to tap that off. So once you've tapped off the excess, what you've got now is a very mixed media look. So for instance, I've got some of the green, some of the gold, and now I'm going to go ahead and heat set it. Okay, and here is our background. So you can see you've got some of the gold embossing powder in the background, and you've also got the now the very highlighted embossing folder with the gold right on top. Another really fun and simple technique is incorporating some dye inks on top of your embossing folder. So I've got a little craft mat here and I'm just going to take my yellow dye ink. I'm going to do a little orange and I'm going to do a little red. And I'm going to show you guys a couple different techniques. I'm going to grab my mini squirt bottle out of the brand new accessory kit. Give it a couple squirts. And I'm going to start with my lightest color since I'm just using one of my little daubers here. I'm holding very lightly and I am just going on top of, just right on top, just hovering, not pushing too hard. And now I've got a really fun background paper. So this I would definitely like use as a background so you don't see all my blotches and then put like a really cute bit of, oh my God, I hate everything. So now that I've finished buffing out and adding some light color, this would make a really great background. So you could see as you layer that, that becomes a really beautiful, with just a hint of color. And that's how easy it is to add some color to your embossing folder paper. Another technique to add a little extra spice to your embossing folders is to take your embossing ink and then you're just going to give it a quick brush over on top of your embossing folder. And I am doing the raised side. So this is the side with the raised design element. This is the side with the solid background. So this goes into that. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a piece of black cardstock, set it inside of my folder like a book, and run that through my die cut machine. Remove your piece of cardstock. Add your embossing powder. And now, if you've got a lot of embossing powder left over, So if any of your embossing powder is on the outside of your design, which is going to be the case anyways, but I just take another piece of cardstock and just scrape it off before I heat set it. Really simple. And I actually lost all my embossing powder down there. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and heat set it. a really 
really fun way to create really beautiful backgrounds using your embossing folders with your embossing powder. And the metallics on the black and the darker cardstock, even some of your dark decorative paper will look really beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys some beautiful creations that we have created using the embossing folders. All right, another fun tip with your embossing folders. I went ahead and took a piece of a black paper, and this is not cardstock. This is from like the Frankie and Friends paper pad solids. So I'm doing two, two different layers from the paper pads. So I would not be doing this with cardstock because it would be too thick. So what I'm gonna do is take just a little bit of rolly adhesive and the Hello Fall is from, you know it, the brand new, brand new fall foundation kit. So I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of adhesive. I'm just going on and literally adding a little here, a little there. Now I've got my hello, and I'm just gonna layer that on right there. And then I'm gonna add a little adhesive to the fall. So that stays in place. Hello fall. And then I'm also going to come in with just a couple of leaves, if I could pick them up. Do one up here. A couple down here. There we go. Now I've got Hello Fall. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my embossing folder. I haven't even decided which one yet. There's so many to pick. I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna do the symmetrical dots. So I'm gonna just layer that right in there. I'll just go this way. Layer that right in there. Close that. Remember, I've got my folded corner here. Take that. Run that right through my die cut machine. And now you've got a really cool layered and embossed addition to your card. Isn't that fun? Fun and simple. And that is with just a couple of your different dies. So again, a really simple tip when you are not going to make a non-shaker card is going to take your outline die and your decorative die and just go ahead and adhere those together. So I just added a couple bits of adhesive. I'm going to do the same with all of my berries. Okay, and now I have all three of my berries and my grapes, and I'm going to put them, we are going to do We're gonna do these flowers. So I'm gonna to just toss all three of them, all four of them in here. Close that up. I've got my book line on one end. There we go. And just run that through my die cut machine. And there you go very cool totally different look I've got my grapes and my berries really fun 
got some texture to them. And these are from the always enjoyed fruit stand kit. All right, next I cut out the awesome little tops, the greenery for my berries. And I'm simply just gonna go grab, doo, doo, doo. I have a particular folder in mind. And it's right here. These really fun leaves. So I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna open up my embossing folder and I am just simply gonna place all of my leaves inside my embossing folder. So cute. And you know what? I'm gonna to toss my flowers in there too. Everything is gonna be embossed, dry embossed on my card, except the background. Run that through my die cut machine. And I've got my really cool flowers. And now I'm going to assemble my card. Now I'm going to lay my acrylic block over my pre-cut label. I'm taking my clear stamp and just curving it so it is in the same shape as my label. And now I'm going to use a dye ink, ink it up, and then stamp it right into my awesome foundation dye label. Get a nice good imprint. There we go. And I am then going to take my really cool label here and put it inside of one of my embossing folders. This is gonna add some really cool texture. So if you ever want to add some texture to one of your labels, you just need to stamp it and cut it first and then run it to your die cut machine. Run that through with the right sandwich for my embossing folders. Open that up, and there you have it, a really cool textured stamped image. Now I'm going to assemble my card. I'm add, adding a little dimensional foam to my saying. I'm throwing my grapes and my leaves in, my three little berries, and then, of course, the awesome flowers to really complete my card with tons of dimension. All right, here is that really fun, very simple, but with lots of texture and lots of involvement using your really cool embossing folders to incorporate all of your shaker cards in a non-shaker way. So give this a try. I also did the, the stamp saying, so you stamp first, run it through your embossing folder and you get this really cool look. Thank you guys so much for joining me on World Card Making Day. I hope you enjoyed everything that you learned on our new embossing folder bundle at cleanandcompany.com. Have fun shopping. Bye-bye.